All right. Well, that killed the frame rate. Oh, sweet. Look, the floor fell away. You gotta fall into the middle. Well, goodbye. <laughs> you have to fall into the middle. Oh, well, I was slightly off center. Goodbye. Oh, man, that's funny. That's a funny death. <laughs> In the middle of all his stupid sweep attacks, you gotta jump into the little tiny hole. I mean, it's epic. Don't get me wrong, it's epic. Here's the thing, you're gonna die 500 times. So that makes it less epic. Like, if you could do that fight flawlessly, that's that's like an epic montage right there, man. That, that'll look awesome with the right camera angles. The floor is crumbling, you're running back and forth, you're dodging attacks. Then for the finale, you gotta jump in the middle of the hole. Complete leap of faith. And try and grab the, um, try and land on the stupid platform. Don't get me wrong. That's epic. That's a cool, this is a cool fight marred by the fact that, well, unfortunately, this game is built around you dying a hundred times. Probably more than that. Probably a thousand. There's people that, pro I know one of my friends, he fucking said, I give up, and he wasn't even done with Undeadburg. He was like, well, fuck this shit, I'm not, I'm not enjoying myself, so there's no point in me playing this game, and he quit. Which, I mean, I can't blame him. Like, I wouldn't want him to say, you know, to sit down and play a game, and he's not gonna enjoy himself, and he's just gonna get angry. But, I think that, definitely, once you get past, like, Blight Town, the game starts getting better, because you start getting more powerful. Blight Town or maybe Sen's Fortress. Definitely on Orlando. Alright, well, fuck. Now this time it's easier. All I gotta do is make a run for it. I'm completely lined up. I just gotta make a, a dash for it. And, of course, he throws me off center. Hup! I think I made it. What's going on? Can I just roll through this? No, I can't. I have to destroy the root of its source. Fucking weed whacker. Oh shit. What is it? What do I do to this thing? There you go. One hit killed. It's a little like worm. Alright, Lord Soul. And there's a bonfire here now. Humanity. Defeat Bed of Chaos. Wow. Well, that ending wasn't epic at all. There was no cutscene. The game has no cutscenes at all, pretty much. And then they finally start having them during boss fights. And then that's it. 60,000 souls. Confirm reinforcement. Alright, that's it. We have all four Lord Souls. Can you believe it? We have all every single one of them all the ones that apparently i'm supposed to have for the end of the game so first things first we are going to warp to oh, i like how none of those bonfires are warpable that's cool um that's really awesome all the, like, the one I was at before, the one before that, they're not, you can't warp to them, fuck that. Well, well, wait, here we, nope, that's it, you can't warp to them, really? Awesome, anyway, um, we're going to go to the Undead Parish. I think that's what kills this game for a lot of people. The fact that the first couple of hours are just so difficult. Just so damn difficult because you don't know anything. And you have no idea what to expect. Well, I mean, obviously, if you play Demon Soul... Oh, oh really? Blacksmith ahead. He, he gets 37 ratings for that. Of course. Alright, anyway. It's just so damn difficult. You have no clue what you're doing. 
and you're just kind of out on your own in a game that's designed to fuck you. Ah, uh, slab. I'd rather use it on either my armor or a weapon. No chunks. No chunks were found. Yeah, because look at those stat bo uh, boosts. Beautiful. Really, I'm here to purchase stuff. Ah, oh, but I don't have the souls to reinforce anything. Damn it. Well, I do actually. I gotta use an item. How much is this? I got 20,000 souls laying around. Barbed straight sword. I don't even use straight swords anymore. Make the spider shield better. It gives me resistance to poison. <coughs> Should I upgrade these? Surprisingly, the demon's great axe is weaker than the demon's great machete. Or machete. Hold on to it. There's no point. Alright, so now that all that's left is to um, present all four of the Lord Souls, but before that I want to do some things, see if I can screw around over here. <coughs> I want to try and grab that item, I want to try and explore that area that's supposedly down in Blight Town, which you know is already a dumb idea. Alright, Soul of the Bed of Chaos, Mother of Demons. Soul of the Bed of Chaos and the Mother of All Demons, this Lord Soul was found at the dawn of the Age of Fire. The Witch of Islith attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul, but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire. Its power formed a bed of life, which would become the source of all demons, and is more than enough to satiate the Lord Vessel. Alright, so first things first on our quest for destruction. I actually have no clue how to get back to where I need to be. I think it's Firelink. Oh, you can't warp back to the bed of chaos. You noticed that, right? You can't warp back there. Wow. So they give you all those bonfires. You can't warp to any of them. This warp system is weird. I don't I don't I don't get it. I think it's kind of not polished enough. Oh well, that's me. I think that they I think it needs to be fixed a bit. It needs to be tweaked. But obviously they won't fix this game. No real point. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, I got scared for a second because he wasn't, um... Looked like a demon was rising from the fire. Where's Loghain? Guess he didn't come back. He said he was going to return to Firelink after a certain amount of time. Yeah, the guy who's here t is also gone. I'm not gonna wake him yet because he's probably gonna take me to the final fight. Here's this guy. Oh, you, you've come some new. I save. Humanity you can buy from him. Twin humanities. Well, for one you need twenty thousand souls. Yeah, okay. I'd rather just farm in the depths, or uh, farm in. I forget what the place is called. Farm in the tomb of giants for like a good hour or something. I can use great heal, but it's only once. Alright, whatever. Come on. You nobody
All right, so now, if you haven't guessed already what I'm about to do, I'm going to try and take on the Hellkite Dragon again. Probably with no different results. I just want to see, you know, because I'm supposed to be towards the end of the game. I want to try and beat him. Is it just me or am I faster? Ooh, 144 souls. Yeah, they don't follow you in here for some reason. That missed. Yeah, if you're not aiming, that's impossible to hit. Praise the sun. Remember when I used to slowly crawl through this area? Literally, that's what I would consider. It's like crawling. Literally. Alright, well, fuck me. Seriously, just, just fuck me already, because I'm not going to kill this thing. I'll equip the fire ring, it won't do anything. All he's gonna do is just constantly spam me with attacks, I won't be able to heal. I'm gonna get stuck in a corner. Alright, you gotta stand here. Wait for him to get pissed off, and then he'll actually come out. Do this enough, and he'll be like, fuck this, because he wants you dead. Okay. Alright, last time I got him to come down and fight. I mean, it was pretty much a one-sided fight. But he came down and he fought me. Doesn't he ever get tired of breathing fire? I don't think I'm supposed to push him. Rather not. <clears throat> Ooh, this is playing with fire. It really is. I don't suppose I could try and snipe him from here, could I? Oh, fuck. I remember this. And then he does it again. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the fight. I can't even switch back to using my shield. Just keeps knocking you over. Can't even stand up. It's a guaranteed guard break. You're better off just taking the hit, taking the damage. Wow, look at this. My god. How are you supposed to fight him? This isn't a fight. Seriously, this isn't a 